What is up guys? Welcome back to the iOS development channel, Max Codes. And in this video, we're just gonna build out a really kind of basic stupid application that you see here. Nothing really serious, kind of dumb, doesn't really do anything, but you're gonna learn a bit about transitions, okay? So let's go ahead and open up a new project inside of this application here that we call Xcode, right? Make sure you're using the beta version with Swift UI enabled, right? So you click use Swift UI. All right, I'm just gonna call this transitions and we're gonna hit next. And uh, I don't know why it's putting it here, but I'm gonna move this to where my projects belong, which is in code projects right here. And it's gotta be somewhere in here. I'm gonna put it inside of YouTube Swift, 124 items, because uh, what, I already made one called transitions. What I'm gonna do is call this transitions two. All right, I'm gonna go in there and hit create inside of my appropriate location, all right? <whistles> Dopeness, all right, hit create. Let's go ahead and flip over into our code here. And what I'm gonna do is just give it a nice compile. All right, let me compile it to the XR simulator. I advise you to do the same. And uh, we should just see it say, hello world. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get a V stack in here. So let's go ahead and put a V stack in this business and we will be on, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is throw in a button, which is how we're gonna get that button effect. All right, hello world. And then this button is gonna have an action of, we'll handle that in just a second, and a label of text. And we'll just say, slide this boy in, right? And then what we'll do is compile that and see that we have a button. And then the next thing we wanna do is really talk about state because state is how we're gonna be able to keep track of whether or not it's slidden in. And then we will be able to uh, do an animation based off that piece of state with, with animation and transition. Yes, I said that correctly, with with animation. The function is actually called with animation. And then we're gonna be using a transition. Okay, so let's go ahead and say at state var active is equal to false because by default it's not slidden in and then in here we just want to say with animation and we want to say self.active dot toggle because we want to kind of switch that value okay so whenever we click this button now we can get rid of result and the in and all that junk and just do that whenever we click this button now it's going to change this value okay so what we can do is after the v stack sorry within the v stack after the button we can say if active then Go ahead and show this text that says slide in. Okay, let's compile our application and give it a look. All right, and uh, if you heard that, that was me drinking a fine beverage. I'm gonna make a video on how to make coffee if you're interested in that. Anyway, you'll see we have that sliding in, but we want it to transition a bit differently. So we can say dot transition and we can throw in any kind of transition, right? If you say dot, you'll see we have all these transitions. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the move one. You can kind of mess around with any one that you want. And I advise that after you follow the tutorial here, because then you can learn more about Swift transitions on your own. And this is really just kind of an intro to get you going in it, right? Let's just make it come from the top. Let's compile it. You can also change this to bottom or trailing or leading, either one. I'll test out top and then bottom, and then I'll end the video. Okay, so you'll see it slides in. Now, obviously this isn't like an effect that we want to see word for word or exact in our applications, right? But it will put you in a good spot where you might be able to manipulate your code a bit to give you a certain effect that you want. Okay, so by learning this, you're better able to program your own iOS apps with Swift UI. Okay, by watching these quick videos that I'm putting up lately, it's going to kind of stack on itself so that you understand Swift UI as a whole. And then when we get around to actual project based applications in Swift UI, you'll have a whole arsenal of little tools like transition and state and all that and buttons to the point that we can build out really quick Swift UI applications. So this is all just prepare preparation for uh, future videos, right? All right, so that's it for this video. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe and drop a comment and check out my last video. It is actually a recording of my face, the Spotify one, and uh, a little bit of looking at that API. Anyway, I'll see you in the very next video.